September 2015, the month and year in which the legendary Critical Ops was released, a game provided to us by Critical Force, a game studio dedicated to making competitive online games for mobile. And this is surely what they provided us with. Critical Ops had one of the most competitive scenes out there and many competitions were held all over the globe. The game itself united people from all over the globe regardless of language and brought us many awesome clients like the King's Clan and Local Squad just to name a few. Prizes were given to the winners and thus the community kept expanding until it met its end during mid to late 2018. With the release of other first person shooter games like Standoff 2 and Forward Assault, many of the players moved from Critical Ops to the huge variety of mobile games. Critical Ops followed the Counter-Strike Global Offensive game type and this is what made it grow into popularity as you could play a game just like CSGO on the palm of your hands while still being able to communicate with friends using game chat or even a third party app to use voice chat, create a strategy to defeat your opponents in the most popular game mode Diffuse. Diffuse has always been a game mode which attracts the majority of players as it is a very competitive game mode and you only get one life per round. Now Deathmatch on the other hand is another beloved game mode by the community as you can go out and kill as many enemies as possible and you can respawn after dying. Though many players play the game mode to hone their skills or just finish one of your daily tasks and receive credits which you save up to open crates. And last but not least, Gun Game is a mode in which you can have all the fun in the world. You get to use every weapon in the game and attempt to kill your way to victory. The game actually has a huge variety of weapons along with many weapon skins including tiers for the skins which provide the user with a large amount of satisfaction with the acquisition of one of these special skins. With all that being said, why did Critical Ops fail and is now in its downfall? This question has many answers actually. One of the main things is repetitive gameplay. As I stated previously, the game only has three game modes, which consists of Diffuse, Deathmatch, and Gun Game. Many of the players I know have left the game because they are tired of playing the same modes and not feeling any type of satisfaction after an elongated time period. So they sought satisfaction in the game. These games provided the newcomers with some kind of rewarding experience and a much better newer feel when it comes to gameplay and mechanics don't get me wrong of course i'm not saying that the game is outdated in any way shape or form but instead what i am saying is that we would like most likely need a huge change in gameplay or mechanics in order for things to feel fresh something i'd like to follow with is that this might not be the absolute best solution as i'm not a developer for this game myself Though Critical Force put so much work into this game that they even made the game cross-platform. Not only could Android users play with iOS users, but you could also play with PC users. With the introduction of the Facebook game room, followed up the addition of Critical Ops on PC and thus allowed everybody to play together and you could sync your account with any device. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Sadly, during the late 2017, Critical Ops was taken off from the game room as the work Critical Force was putting into the game and the PC version was much more than necessary. When I say this, I mean that not many people played on PC and the server still had to be maintained, so they had to bring it down sadly. I actually did play it myself on the Facebook game room and it was actually great. I won't be won uh, Lost Runaway on Critical Ops many times on PC and it was amazing. It was actually incredibly smooth. I thought it was awesome. Anyways, now we ask ourselves again, what did make the game fail? Feels so great. My answer? Generation change. This is the game having huge changes which have not only affected the casual player, but has also affected the pro player. Many pro players are leaving and so are casual players and advertising for the game is somewhat pointless at the time because it's a couple years old. In my opinion, advertising is key when it comes to bringing in more people to the community and this is something Critical Force has filled upon. The game will be remembered for the vast hours of fun it provided us with regardless of its departure. The game may not be going anywhere for you, but it definitely is for me. It's going to the list of legendary games. With all of this being said, this has been Pop Luck. 
And thanks for watching. What other games should I cover next? Leave a comment down below on what game I should cover next or anything you have in mind. I will try my best to reply to all the comments as soon as possible. And again, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. Peace out.